What's up you guys, my name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today I wanna to talk about stimulus packages. I wanna talk about some of the key sticking points that are arising with this $908 billion stimulus package. I wanna break down what these sticking points are and what this means for you. I also wanna talk about the chances of us seeing any more funding going to the PPP or Paycheck Protection Program as well as the EIDL program. So. Let's get started. Now, I feel as though every single time I make one of these videos, something changes like shortly after my video gets published. And so this is the current update as of Thursday, December 10th. So the last video I made on this topic, I was really optimistic about some sort of stimulus package being passed. In my last video, I had said that I did not think we would see stimulus checks, but we would see an unemployment boost and we probably would see a stimulus package being passed by the end of the year. Now, I ultimately think that we still will most likely end up seeing some sort of stimulus package being passed passed by the end of the year, but there are some really key sticking points that are holding up the process. So again, in my last video, I had said that lawmakers really needed to come to an agreement by December 11th, which is tomorrow. And it looks as though most likely there won't be an agreement that has come 100% agreed upon by tomorrow, but we maybe could by the end of the week, which would give us time to have that passed by the end of the year. So really, it looks as though the deadline is, you know, Sunday, maybe Monday at the absolute latest, but it really needs to be negotiated and agreed upon like ASAP, like absolutely as soon as possible. But there are really a couple of big sticking points in regards to the stimulus package that as of right now are holding up stimulus negotiations. So the first one and one of the biggest ones is liability protections to be included in the stimulus package. So over the last week, this is something that Mitch McConnell insisted on having included in the stimulus bill. He said that he would not sign a stimulus package if it did not provide liability protection in relation to COVID-19 lawsuits. What this does is it just provides basically legal legal protection to companies in regards to being legally exposed to COVID-19 related lawsuits. So it protects them in the case of a lawsuit. So Mitch McConnell for a while was saying that he would not sign a stimulus package unless it included this stipulation in the package as a whole. The second sticking point is funding to state and local governments, which Mitch McConnell is calling a blue state bailout. He's basically saying that he does not want to include as much state and local funding as is currently included in this $908 billion stimulus package. But as of today, Thursday, December 10th, Mitch McConnell has said that he would come to the negotiating table, but he just wants to leave out these two issues altogether. He doesn't even want to discuss liability protection. He doesn't even want to discuss state and local funding. He just wants to address that at a later time. This has been an issue because a lot of bipartisan government leaders think that there needs to be state and local government funding in this bill because it is a necessary aspect of COVID-19 relief. So as of right now, this is two of the three major sticking points that are holding us back from getting this bill passed. The third sticking point, and this is more recently becoming a bigger one, is the lack of stimulus checks. So as of right now, this $908 billion stimulus package does not include stimulus checks in any form. Instead, it includes an unemployment boost. Well, there are a lot of government leaders that feel as though there needs to be some sort of stimulus check. In fact, President Donald Trump stepped in just about a day or two ago, saying that instead of providing an unemployment boost, he wants to just send out $600 stimulus checks to all eligible Americans. So instead of implementing a $300 unemployment boost, meaning everybody who's unemployed gets a $300 bonus on top of their traditional unemployment benefits, instead of getting that, the government would just send out a flat $600 check to all eligible Americans. Now this is an issue, and this is where a lot of government leaders are kind of butting heads at this point, because in the eyes of a lot of economists, in the eyes of a lot of government leaders, they don't think that these two things are created equal. They don't feel as though you can just take the unemployment employment boost and swap it out for a $600 one-time fee. In fact, a lot of experts believe that a $300 unemployment weekly boost is significantly more beneficial to the economy as a whole than a flat rate $600 payment. And you know what? I agree. You know, I'm not an economist. I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to the economy, but I definitely feel as though sending out targeted stimulus relief to unemployed individuals in the form of a $300 unemployment boost is much more meaningful and much more impactful to the economy than just a flat rate $600 $600 check going out to every single eligible American, regardless of whether or not they need it. So in my eyes, coming from a, an outsider looking in, I definitely feel as though this $300 unemployment boost is, is not equal to just swap out with like a $600 flat rate check being sent out. So I, I think it will be interesting to see what they agree on and what they come to terms with. To be honest, I don't really have a prediction. I don't know which way they're going to lean, whether they'll lean, you know, with that $600 one-time stimulus check being sent out or whether it will be that $300 
dollar unemployment boost that we discussed earlier on this week. Now let's talk about the PPP or the Paycheck Protection Program. So as you guys know, this was the program that was implemented over the summer, really in the spring, and it's been talked about really throughout this entire year. Now I do think that we will see expansion into the PPP going into 2021. I don't know if it will go in full force like with this newest bill, but it will come in some way, shape or form. And in the current bill that's currently being discussed, there is details in that bill giving expansion, giving more funding to the PPP. So if you are somebody that really benefited from the PPP, if you really took advantage of that program, then this is really good news for you. And I would definitely keep an eye out on when this new bill is passed, if it gets passed, because the PPP most likely will have an expansion in some way, shape or form implemented with this bill. Next is the EIDL or the IDLE program. Now I've been getting a lot of questions on my videos in the last couple of weeks asking me whether or not this program will come back in the next round of stimulus funding. And as of right now, there hasn't been any discussions regarding that. There hasn't been any discussions on bringing this program back, on giving it more funding. There hasn't really been any talks on the IDLE program at all. Now, if I was a betting person, I would say most likely we will not see new funding coming into the IDLE program. And the reason why I say that is because the IDLE program was quite honestly a bit of a mess. There was a lot of disappointment associated with the IDLE program. There was a lot of issues with like clerical issues. There's a lot of issues with staffing issues with the SBA. There's also a lot of issues with fraud coming up, both from the part of the SBA as well as from the part of recipients who are taking advantage of these IDLE loans. So all in all, I think it's, it's most likely that the government and the SBA will not be issuing more funding to the IDLE program with any more stimulus relief. Now I could be wrong on this and I, I wouldn't say that it's like 100% they're not going to, but I, I think it's highly unlikely and I certainly think think that it is not a priority. With that being said, I am still hearing a lot of people who applied for the IDLE program over the summer and are still going through the appeals process and are getting approved like today in December of 2020. In fact, I spoke to somebody just the other day who had gone through the appeals process multiple times. She was denied, she appealed, she denied, she was appealed again, and she recently was approved into the IDLE program. Now, again, that's not for the grant. So the free portion of the IDLE program is, is long gone. That's for the loan portion of the program. So it does seem as though the SBA is still addressing applicants within the IDLE program. They are still addressing appeals. They are addressing denials. They are addressing requests for more funds. So there is still activity going on within this program, but I just don't think that it's a high likelihood that the government will give this program more funding and more resources as things currently stand. Honestly, though, I think that the outlook of the stimulus package and negotiations is changing and shifting so much that like what I'm talking about in this video today may not even be relevant tomorrow. I, I just think that the climate is shifting so rapidly, especially as we get closer to like the end of the week and the end of this deadline. With that being said, I ultimately think that even if a stimulus package is passed, I don't think it will have a substantial impact on just the average person. Like there's a lot of government programs that are on the brink of ending and this relief package will really give more funding to those programs. It's not gonna put a whole lot of money into your pocket specifically. And so because of that, I don't necessarily think that this is gonna have as much of an impact as many people think. If you're somebody who's taking advantage of these government programs, of programs like unemployment, the eviction ban, mortgage forbearance, and so much more, then yes, this stimulus package will have a drastic effect on your life. But if you're somebody who isn't taking advantage of those those programs, then for the most part, the stimulus package is a bit irrelevant for you, I would say. But I would love to hear your thoughts, so make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.